Hello and welcome to an introduction to alternative assessments. Remember, assessments are meant to provide information on student progress and learning, but they can also guide what students learn. What and how students learn depend on how they think they will be assessed. As a result, our choice of assessment is important to guiding the learning process and leading us to consider a variety of assessments in addition to traditional tests and exams. So what do we mean by alternative assessments? Alternative assessments are meant to assess what students can and cannot do. Traditional assessments typically assess what students know or don't know. This is why alternative assessments are sometimes also called authentic assessments. These types of assessments focus on students demonstrating their ability or performing a task. In this video, we hope that you will consider the reasons behind choosing alternative assessments, identify examples of alternative assessments, and learn where to find more about each of them. In this video series, we are assuming that you have a face-to-face -face course that you're transitioning to the online environment. Consider reasons behind choosing alternative assessments. Maybe you're watching this video because you're concerned with challenges posed by administering exams online, but there are lots of other reasons to consider alternative assessment formats and not just for final assessments. Alternative assessments can match more closely with the learning outcomes for your course. For example, if a key outcome of your course is for students to develop nutrition and activity plans for individuals based on body composition, then asking students to create nutrition and exercise plans for different populations is an appropriate assessment activity. Alternative assessments can also allow students to demonstrate different skills that are important to your class or your discipline, such as a course where it's important that students leave the course able to communicate technical ideas to others. You might choose to ask students to draft a how-to document or a tutorial, which would be appropriate. Alternative assessments are also more authentic, so you can create more authentic assessments that mimic more closely real world situations, like asking your students to solve a complex or a critical problem related to your field. How do you decide which alternative assessment to select? The best thing to do is to think about the knowledge or the skill that you're wanting your students to demonstrate. Do you want to see st students' writing ability? Would you like to see their speaking skills? Perhaps you'd like to assess their creativity or problem solving, or you're interested in assessing their ability to collaborate with their peers. Maybe even you're wanting to see if they've grown in their appreciation towards a course topic. What are examples of alternative assessments? Alternative assessments can be things like group exams, discussion boards, take-home exams, or problem-based assessments. As with any assessment, the method that you choose should align with your course outcomes. So here's an example of some course outcomes with typical alternative assessments that you might want to explore. If you're wanting to see students demonstrate their collaborative ability, you might choose to assign a group exam or a group project. If you're wanting students to demonstrate their communication skills, a discussion, a group exam, or even a written project would be appropriate. If you're wanting students to solve critical problems, you could use a critical reflection, a discussion, or a take-home exam. And then if you're wanting students to identify connections between complex ideas within your course, perhaps you ask them to develop a concept map. While there are many forms of alternative assessments, here are some that we have curated for you and provided a deep dive into the logistics of implementing them into your online courses. Each alternative assessment has an overview with strengths, limitations, tips for success, 
and how to implement using OWL. Use the linked list next to this video to explore alternative assessment examples and find the types that fit your course.